Okay, and here we are. <laughs> Gratefully, I suppose you're thinking, um, at the end of Route A, Unit 1, and this is the final question. Be very uh, grateful to hear that, I'm sure. Okay, let's go through it. Um, here we are, as I said, we're now looking at question number three, the evaluative essay with additional marks for spelling, punctuation, and grammar. Um, in total, you will get your 53 marks, or the chance of accomplishing 53 marks. Um, there's the final question. Before we begin, I can't stress this enough. The command words, very important. Um, again, you can use the techniques of explaining and describing certain things, but these are really part and parcel of the paragraphs you are going to script um, to get your judgment across. Okay, the final question is going to be of an evaluative nature. Okay, it is going to ask you, let's move on here, to what extent, how far did or how far was, or was the something the most important reason or development in this period of time okay it's an overview okay so the evaluative essay with additional marks of spelling punctuation and grammar that really is what it is okay but this essay question is phrased in such a way it's going to be phrased in such a way as to encourage a balanced discussion and we want you to reach a judgment on the end or at the end of it rather excuse me it's been a long long night uh, producing these videos and as you can hear the voice is going and I think the brain cells are <laughs> going with it um, so there will also be a little extra bit of advice to be aware of and I've put this in the PowerPoint slide and please if you look at the past papers or the specimen paper really uh, or any um, hints and tips from the, the revision or questions from that that great uh, Hodder revision um, textbook, um, they'll give you a statement, giving some advice on what should be discussed in that answer. It might not be a lot, okay, but definitely take that advice. That is something you want to, um, you really want to stick by and you want to get that into your essay, okay? Um Okay, um, we, we I'll come across this, I'm sure, with, with hints um, for question three. But just remember, this is an essay question, okay? So you may feel it's a lot to be asked of yourselves at the end of an exam um, to kind of construct an, an essay. But keeping it general and simple, and there are plenty of books out there uh, that, that you can go into, and I, I'll, I'll give you a quick overview. But an essay is made up of three things. It's made up of uh, an introduction or beginning, um, a main body, okay, or content or the, discuss the, the discussive part, the discussion that takes place in your essay. And finally, you have a conclusion. Okay, so we're going to look at you to be writing um, a kind of introduction so it kind of knows what you're doing. I mean, we've got the question here, to what extent, uh, this this isn't the actual question, I keep reminding you of that, um, this is a question that could come up, um, hopefully, fingers crossed, if the stars are aligned, all of these questions will will come up, I'm hoping uh, that, would be, that would be an ideal world and a perfect world, but you can't take any of these questions for granted, it is simply at the format we are looking at, and I really can't stress that enough, okay? But at what extent did all people living in Germany between 1933 and 1939 benefit from Nazi rule? Um, as I said, here's that statement. It'll come in. Uh, in your answer, you should discuss the sections of society in Germany that did benefit from Nazi rule and the sectors of society that did not benefit. Now, what I've done for you guys is if you were gonna you, when it when it comes to um, the introduction, I'd be writing something along the lines of just something something that kind of uh, shows what that you know what you're talking about. That um, during the Nazi rule, uh, when Hitler came into power in 19, 1933, um, there were changes made. These changes had an effect on different sectors. All of these words of society, all of these words you can grab from the actual question, and you just putting those into a structure. Um, Again, it's going to be a balanced uh, 
judgment that you, the balanced discussion and a judgment that you need to come down on. So I, you know, th there's the hint there. Okay, now perhaps you, you might get a little bit confused in the exam. So I'm going to show you a top tip. And if I click on this, and hopefully if I am good with PowerPoint, this this will this will work. And this takes you to the beauty of mind maps, okay? Um, it's just a suggestion. You don't have to do this. I have used this this type of uh, technique when I've had to write essay-based uh, qu exam questions. Um, or rather, when I've had to answer them, again, apologies for being tired. Um, but first of all, if you get, you know, if you're in that exam and you think, oh, phew, mind has gone blank, this is where you really can get those thoughts out of your mind onto a spare piece of paper um, or in the back of your workbook, okay? Um, here we go. People living in Germany, uh, if I, as I said, if you get a pen and people living in Germany, well, society they're asking for. Perhaps I should have written German society there. Um, but first thing I would do, well, German society. Uh, right. Let me let me think. Well, who was in German society? I mean, you know, you haven't had lectures on dogs and cats and they aren't, really don't make up society as such. OK, um, but we do know that people um, are the, the, the building blocks or, or, or the, the pieces of what make a society. So I would be very tempted to write quickly um, what I know. So, hey, there's men, there's women, there's young, there's old, there's, uh, I know that there were Nazis, there were communists, there were opponents, you know, um, the social democrats. And I also, one of the big things that will come in are Jews and also what were known as the undesirables or the untermenschen, okay? The subhuman. Uh, embarrassing to say that this is the way that the German uh, Nazi regime labelled. OK, um, then. OK, right. So now I know that in my paragraphs, I could talk about men, women, Nazis, the communists, you know, the true Nazis or classed as perhaps Aryan breed. Again, I'll run out of space here if I keep adding things because this is a PowerPoint presentation. Um, but if I had a pen, I'd be scribbling. OK, um, so. And, and and just to give you like a further bit of advice, I can't be in that exam room with you um, as much as uh, well. I will be there in spirit, but I can't be there in um, in, in 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 actuality. Okay, but look, um, then if we look at the positives of, of course, there's there's plenty more. There are certain groups that under Nazi regime wouldn't have had a pluses. So now you can kind of get a list um, of who benefited and who didn't, uh, what sectors didn't and what sectors did. Well, men, they were offered to, uh, back into work with employment, you know, such as, and, and the question that I'm going to show you the example, will we'll answer a lot of this through, through different work schemes, okay? Uh, women, um, they were rewarded for children. Yeah, they, they had a role, okay? Um, and, and, but as you know, Hitler didn't really want them to work. He wanted them domesticated, okay, and back at home. So that leads me on to, well, the, the Hitler youth, uh, well, yeah, they, they were empowered, you know, the youth in, in Germany, they were empowered so long as you weren't a young Jew, a young homosexual, a young gypsy, um, these these were you know you could, yeah it's it's quite easy to follow that there's not a lot of um, benefits. Um, if anything, there's the other end of this of the the spectrum there for these people who are either opposing the Nazi regime, okay, or are just not wanted as part of the social policy of the Nazi regime, okay. And if I click this again. Here we can see the negative. So even here, um, there is plenty for you to write about here. I mean, I haven't got into absolute intricate detail here, but it should should give you food for thought. This very nature of what you can do in a very, very short space of time. Um, it, 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 it took me a couple of minutes, yes, on the PowerPoint, but that's with all of the animation and everything. But let's just have a look. Now we can see that you can write about women. You can give a plus, And in red, you can give a minus. Yeah, they would, women were rewarded for having children. The mother's cross, okay? And um, they... Uh, the marriage loans and let's go deeper um, with with um, 
the the uh the League of German Girls, which would attach again to the youth here, okay. Um, but on the other hand, they shouldn't have had careers if they were going to be good Nazis, okay. They should just stay home, uh, have children, and basically do what the Führer or the, the or vicariously through the husband what uh, what the Führer would want them to do. Uh, likewise, men, it depended on how good a Nazi you were, you could think of, of plenty of negatives there, you know, um, the, if, if he was a complete um, trusting and loyal Nazi, there, there wasn't a lot to worry about, okay, however, they had to go to war. Um, let's have a look at the communists or the opponents here. It became a one-state party, therefore opposition was eliminated, okay, and again, a very frightening time for denunciation for people, likewise for all men and all women. Um, the denunciations were basically witch hunts, um, you know, uh, where the where the people would turn amongst themselves. So there, there's that type of thing that you can look at there. Okay, uh, the fear of the Gestapo, the fear of the SS. Okay, knocking the door down and taking them away uh, for something that a neighbour had had tattled on them about okay um the youth as as, as i said because i've given a, a positive they were empowered with the hitler youth it would be important to balance that out and say but not all youth you know edelweiss pirates for instance um and the the other youths the white rose um foundation there you know the, these were opposition that they spoke out and and they were were um and they were very brave but sadly um they, they were punished paying the the utmost price there okay um again if we have a look at these other sectors of society you can see um that the nazis so long as you were a good nazi boom 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 that would be you know if you were true aryan if you weren't um part of uh the middle um i was going to say the middle stand but that 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 isn't correct um if you were, were not part of the Michelin, sorry which was mixed blood nazis uh, or mixed blood germans rather um you know where you have that trait of uh, as they perceived it as being a trait i'm sorry um of not having pure Aryan blood, then you, you know things are going to get difficult for you um, as time goes on. The the Jewish uh, Germans and the undesirables, um, due to the Nazi social policies, uh, where again you could write plenty of this, and you could even bring in nights, uh, sorry, events um, that happened to, to give examples of the progressive discrimination and anti-Semitism that took place, e.g. Uh, the Jewish, uh, the Jewish boycott of shops to begin with, right up to the horrible events in, in 38, where, um, you have Kristallnacht, Kristallnacht, that, that is, that, that should read Kristallnacht there, but the bubble has, has, uh, has chopped that or separated down, down the middle there. Um, that's the beauty of mind maps. They come into play fantastically when you need to get your thoughts out on paper and you can do that quickly. Um, and, and really, if you kind of put a tick rather than use different colors um, or a plus and a minus, you know, I've, I've done this to kind of show you the positives, the negatives, to give balance, um, then, hey, I say that's a fantastic tip that shouldn't take you too long and you've got something to refer to uh, in whether you want to go, say, uh, clockwise order or if you just want to start jotting numbers one, two, three, four, you know, and really piece your thoughts together and you have some structure um, to get into your par paragraphs then of your essay. OK, um, remembering we need a conclusion at the end to sort of wrap that up. And from this, you can see that people in, living in Germany, well, not everyone benefited. So we'll go back. Um, so to what extent did all people living in Germany between 1933 and 1939? Um, again, it's this period we're looking at. OK, so it's before the war. Um, women are asked to return, uh, are put into the factories. You could kind of mention, you know, maybe in a conclusion. But then again, concluding is never, it's never a good idea to bring something new into a conclusion. You just want to be saying what you have said in your main body to back that up. I would have to give that a bit of advice. Um, 
let's have a look at the the answer that um, our A plus student has given. Okay, so. For many people living in Germany between 1933 and 1939, life did improve and many did benefit from the introduction of Nazi policies. Through public work schemes such as the building of the Autobahn and the introduction of conscription, which drafted men into the armed forces, unemployment figures fell sharply. Okay, In 1933, there were 6 million Germans without a job, and by 1939, this figure had fallen to a few hundred thousand. People now had money in their pockets and were able to enjoy a more active social life through organisations like the Kraft der, uh, der Freude, Strength Through Joy. Loyal workers received benefits such as cheap holidays and were able to attend cultural and sporting events. Couples were encouraged to marry through the granting of a marriage loan, which was reduced by a quarter following the birth of each child. Youngsters were encouraged to join the Hitler Youth until it was made compulsory in 1939 and could take part in activities such as camping, hiking, shooting and map reading for boys and physical exercise and learning domestic skills for girls. By 1939, the Hitler Youth Organisation had more than 7 million members. However, the main people to benefit from such measures were the Aryan Germans. For those who were not classed as being pure Germans, such as Jews, Gypsies, and those whose lifestyle did not reflect Nazi beliefs, such as Jehovah Witnesses, homosexuals, and political critics, life grew more and more difficult during the 1930s. Jews were publicly humiliated, their shops were boycotted, and they were banned from working in the civil service and from certain professions, such as being teachers, doctors, dentists, and judges. They lost their jobs, but were not counted in the unemployment figures. The Nuremberg Laws of 1935 took away their rights of German citizenship. For gypsies and other groups who did not fit into Nazi stereotypes, life became increasingly difficult as the Nazis began to engage in more active persecution. Again, a new paragraph. For some Aryans, life under Nazi rule resulted in changes which were not welcome. Women who had received a university education and, and had established professional careers during the Weimar period were now increasingly forced out of the workplace. They were expected to get married and start a family, staying at home to bring up the children and look after the home. Some Germans resented the increasing amounts of propaganda and censorship, and they disliked living in a police state under the watchful eye of the SS and the Gestapo. The final paragraph, while the changes that were introduced by the Nazis between 1933 and 1939 benefited most Aryan Germans, there were other sectors of society that did not benefit. For non-Aryans, life became more and more difficult as measures were introduced to restrict their lifestyle and control their day-to-day -day activities. Okay, now that's a, that, that's a great answer. I mean, it covers the, the different sectors um, or groups rather of society. It gives a plus and a minus and you can really uh, when it when it comes into the kind of the minuses for the persecution um, it it kind of states this this progressive nature of the persecution it doesn't happen overnight okay it's this downward staircase um, to this um, crystal nacht of, of 1938 okay um so bear that in mind as well if, if this question does come up okay again there's nothing stopping you taking this exam question doing a mind map for yourself just to give a little little teasing run to see you know um or have a look at some other questions or email me for some other questions and i'll get those to you and you can sort of rattle these out um giving yourself an allotted time okay so just a few hints now for question number three uh, again, just to reiterate or, or enforce that you need to develop a two-sided answer. Don't just go talking about um, how great it was for the Aryans, okay, um, or Aryan Germans. Um, likewise, don't just talk about how bad it was for the Untermenschen um, or, the, or the undesirables of, of Germany, okay. Um, try and get this balanced, uh, as you saw on the mind map, you could see how many... Um, uh, groups of German society there was so try and get a little bit of everything in there and and you, you you'll have quite a, a broader um, explanation and answers that will give more balance to that to that um, 
discussion that, that that's going to take place. So discuss the key feature mentioned in the question, stick to that, and follow this by discussing other important factors. Always revert back to the question, okay? Um, it, it, it doesn't do it so much in that answer, but there's nothing stopping you saying. So as we can see, this group or this sector in Germany uh, benefited or this group, this sector um, did not benefit. OK, um, the, the words are there. And another hint would be avoid generalized comments, give specific detail. As I said, mind maps will help you here. OK, if, if you give yourself a little bit of time to do a mind map and then write down such as the, the Nuremberg laws, for instance, um, if you can think of strength through joy, if you can think of Hitler youth, um, the LDB, uh, all of these little things, you know, you, your mind will be racing. Write them down on the mind map and you can always return and get those into your answers as you write your sentences. OK, you will know, oh, I've got that coming up. So it really is um, an excellent way to get these points that you've been storing um, out of your head. Um, remember, and, and I'll go into a further few. I think it's a final chat. I call it on this one. Um, and as, I, as I've already stated, this will by doing that mind map. Um, or a list of things, getting these down, um, this will ensure you cover a range of factors and key issues, okay? Um, remember the rules of essay writing, ensure your answer has an introduction. We're looking at several paragraphs, okay? Um, think about it. Uh, I wouldn't like to give you a number. I mean, this, this, this is up to you. But you're looking at maybe structuring it with... You know, I mean, if we're talking about men, women, that could come into play. The Nazis themselves and the political opponents could come into another paragraph. You could have youth then. Um, maybe tagged into men and women but you could also have one paragraph alone which um which talks about the undesirables there and then a conclusion so maybe three paragraphs in between your comment um but if you have a look at the uh the example answer i've given you i think there's about well, let's go back and check we have the technology there we go so He's gone straight into it. There is an introduction in there, uh, but he, he tends to have gone straight into what he's telling um, you about the, the changes there. We've got another paragraph there, three, and then we finish on that one. Okay, so there's there's about... It's not a, you know it's not it's not a, not a fantastically um, symmetrical essay I won't say that but it's 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 the way that I wouldn't expect it to be under exam conditions anyway okay but it's something that's tried to stick to the rules of writing an essay well stick to the rules of writing an essay and you'll have more structure and the person that's marking you because it won't be me it'll be somebody who doesn't know you and will only know you uh, by your examination number. Um, so the easier you can make it for those people in a format or a structure that they can make, uh, that they can re readily and easily get those answers from um, from your writing, uh, then the more they will reward you. Remember, this also is marked on spelling punctuation and grammar okay and i'll just give you a quick overview take your time when you write writing this try to have um certainly have confidence have fun and for the final chat we'll just go into don't think uh, please i cannot stress this enough through the entire exam technique videos don't think that these questions will definitely be in the exam not in the order i've given them to you they might not come up at all that's the that that is the i would say the downside but that's just the the unknown aspect of an exam that's why it is an exam um the structure will be the same I've given you that much. The format will be the same of each of the questions, okay? But the questions certainly will be different. We could fall lucky here, and it, they, you know we might hit on um, similar themed or very similar worded questions, which would be a great thing, and it would have been well, well worth you uh, going through these videos certainly before your exam. Um, whether that's periodically or whether it's 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 the night before, I would advise it both really. Um, Another thing, always consider each question 
each question carefully before you write. It would be absolutely uh, pointless and moot to work hard on, a, uh, on an answer that is not directly answering that question. Remember, are you explaining when you should be evaluating? Because if you are, there's there, there's no meat on those bones and you can't get the marks. And it, yeah, it, it, it just shows that relax, follow instructions okay um certainly hitler would like that okay um and it won't do any harm in this instance uh thirdly here's a tip use any aid from the exam paper itself if you can what i mean by that is there may be a few um of certain uh policies in there certain laws which you can apply to that exam question there may be uh certain ways of spelling things on that paper that you might be unsure certain german words but you can kind of use them again um um, the last thing I want to say to you is kind of look at the last question and kind of worry yourself that you've got to remember everything. But if, if you space your, your time out, um, which is something I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to chat about now, then there are little hints, little tips and little bits of advice that, and certainly little bits of information that you can take. OK, if you weren't sure how to spell Goebbels or Goering and you need to you need to write those, they may be on that paper somewhere. OK, so it's always worth bearing in mind that there's always strategies and techniques to get through this. OK, and certainly advice is, is, a, is a great aid. Um, finally, keep an eye on the time and allow yourself enough time to finish that paper. OK, remember, the big marks are at the end. There's 15 15 marks there okay so you want to be um you know let in fact i i did this for you okay let's just have a think about time i'm not saying you have to stick to this and and again it is advice okay but if we think about it it's an hour and 15 minutes that's 75 minutes okay um Look, each each of these questions holds a mark of either four, six, eight, four, six, ten, with the final part being fifteen. That gives you fifty-three. If we allocated a minute, uh, which was equal to each question, okay. Ignoring this plus three, I don't want to confuse you. But even if even if we did, we spent uh, four minutes, six minutes, eight minutes, four minutes, six minutes, ten minutes, and fifteen minutes here. That's going to give you fifty-three minutes. Okay, so you should still have. Okay, um, fifteen plus the seven left out of that hour. You should still have twenty-two minutes. OK, so using these minutes or these marks as guides. OK, question number one, look at your watch by 20 minutes. If you're 20 minutes, you should be moving on and getting into that question, the, the, the set of questions in, in question number two. OK, um, likewise, do the math here. That's 20. If you add these up and they were minutes, OK, you'd have 20 minutes here. So you're looking at about, yeah, if sort of 40 minutes into the first hour and then the final 15 minutes. So I would like to say that a lot of people have asked me, you know, how, you know, can you break it down and give me an exact amount of time I should have? I think these aren't bad guides, really. You could probably give yourself an extra minute on on minute or two on these. Uh, do the math, but then again, if you come across a question, um, you don't want to be spending too much time on the smaller marks. It's best to score to skit over those, and if you've got time at the end, you can come back if they're a bit too puzzling. Um, but it's certainly the essay is is the question and again they're going to put that at, at the end um but again there's two ways to look at that you may think oh i have an exam question to write at the end of this but yeah you would have also have been flexing your muscles and doing your training throughout the first part of the exam reading sources getting words getting yourself familiar and they are there for you uh to take advantage of maybe and hopefully for you guys 
in the final essay question as well. Okay, I hope you understand what I'm saying about there's a lot of valuable information going to be on that exam paper that you might be able to be clever enough, uh, which I'm sure you are, to use in that essay question. That's it for exam technique on unit one. I hope you enjoyed the videos as much as I enjoyed making them. Oh, and I also hope that you have learned something too. That's always a bonus. And I hope my throat and voice gets better. And finally, just get out there, relax, and shine as a historian, which I know you're all capable of, okay? Thank you very much. Um, I'm sure I'll see you before. I know I'll see you before the, the exam. I'll be there on the day. And um, if I don't, I wish you all the best of luck. Thank you very much for listening. And we still have Unit 2 and Unit 3 to go through. Okay, so enjoy this one. Take it as a learning curve. And there's another two units to shine just as well at. Okay, all the best. Thank you.